morning, folks. It's Rob White here again at Dahlstrom Roll Form, here to talk about step four in the anatomy of a roll forming line. And step four is the cutoff process. And I, I, maybe I should more accurately describe that as the cutoff and or secondary, secondary operations that happen before the part goes into uh, packaging. So we're here at our, the first line we started with. And, and, and this is the end of the forming process, the last forming pass. And what we have here is a linear encoder. A linear encoder is a wheel that is resting on the material and very accurately recording the speed of the material through the process. That information is sent to a servo-driven cutoff system. All of the cutoffs and controls that we have here, again, are, are AMS controls, closed loop, servo-driven uh, mechanics on these lines. Uh, so what's happening is we're reading the speed of the material, and in the pre-punch process we talked about earlier, we're also punching a small sensing hole in the part. And if you can see over here, right before the cutoff, there is a, a very small sensor that's reading a hole in the part. It knows the speed of the material. It knows how long in time, based on that speed, that the part has to be cut off. And their servo-driven screw moves the tool at the same speed and very accurately positions that cut. So again, you know, we have a control panel here at the, at the end of the line and a control panel at the front of the line. Each can control the, all of the components in the system to make sure that we get repeatable, accurate parts. So here we've got you know, a, a part coming through. We've got the speed. The hole is about to go underneath the sensor. The sensor picks up the hole. Timer, move the die, make the cut. That is a typical cutoff process for roll forming. Again, the process never stops. It is continuous. Uh, Jim here is, is, is doing some additional um, end bends on the, these parts. Again, pre-painted steel. We're doing some end flanges at the end because uh, roll forming, of course, only can do linear bending, cannot do end bending. So we have a, um, processes that we will roll into place and, and then perform these kinds of operations. So, and, th and then this does conclude the process. This is the, the, the packing crate that will be uh, buttoned up and, and shipped to the customer, um, all barcoded and, and um, you know, ready to be received. That's about all we have for the, uh, the series, the anatomy of a roll forming line. Um, thanks for listening. And, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at Dahlstrom Roll Form or any of our account management staff. Thank you again. We'll see you next time.